Hey, this is Daryl as a service, just bringing a tip for all those schools that are using Office 365 for, for their uh, teaching and learning environments and also professional learning communities. There's been a, an update recently to Office 365 that allows us to copy files from our OneDrive and into a SharePoint team site. Uh, so when we've had uh, OneDrive um, for a while now, it's been really easy for us to create those documents and uh, do it in that personal space and, and then maybe invite some people to it. And that's been quite a common scenario. We've also had our class notebooks in our own OneDrive for some time. And it's, it's really um, ideal to try and get that content into, into uh, a place where the rest of uh, our teaching team or, or our class can, can see that content. So I'm just going to step through a scenario here uh, to show you um, some of the, the updates and also how it's a huge advantage that now you can move these documents around between OneDrive and into another SharePoint team site. Um, into an Office 365 group or even between um, different sites as well. So we'll just step through that scenario. So I've got a teacher here, um, Elizabeth Metcalf. Uh, she has been working on a lesson plan about photosynthesis and she has invited uh, the other teacher, Daryl Webster, uh, to, to assist with that. So um, the uh, experience for her, she's been able to create that document. She might have dragged it and dropped it, uploaded it, might have even synced it from her desktop. So we're going to go over and have a look at um, the co-teacher's experience, Daryl. Uh, he's uh, also within his OneDrive, and, and up until now, he's been uh, looking at this document, and it's been shared with him. And so he can go to that, that category and um, start to work on that document. So we've got a uh, photosynthesis plan, and um, I did borrow this from a, uh, a site here, so I just want to call out the source, because that's what um, uh, good referencing does. And um, he uh, contributes to that document, so we could just go and edit in the browser and make a few changes. Um, let's just uh, increase uh, that to, let's say, the uh, heading 2, perhaps. So that's enough of a change. Um, so he's made that change. Now, as we know, as we're working on these documents um, live, that uh, they are constantly saving and changing, uh, saving back to that OneDrive. So we could go back to Elizabeth's uh, uh, OneDrive, and this is, again, still Daryl looking at the file that has been shared with him from Elizabeth's OneDrive. So back over to Elizabeth's experience of that. You know, we've been, uh, these two teachers have been working on this document for a while, and uh, they really want to get this into a place where the rest of their teaching team can can work on this together and, and review it. And that might be their professional learning community. So we're going to use a feature within here uh, that allows us to copy that document over to the, the uh, team site where the uh, rest of the teachers can uh, work on it. So we've selected our document. We'll go over to uh, copy. And, um, and we can select from the sites that we have favorited um, so I could move it around within my OneDrive, or I could um, choose to, to go through to other sites. Now, this is a site that I frequent, I go to it, it often, um, and in my case, I've actually uh, favorited it as well. If I don't have any sites there that, that I'm really aiming for to try and copy that document, um, then I could browse through, and I could see some of the, the recent sites that I have visited. Now, this is a demo environment, so there's not a lot going on in there. Uh, but I just want to call out, too, at this point, um, that... It really helps if you do go through and um, as you belong to various sites or you belong to various groups within your school, that you do favorite them. And you know, just look out for that little star at the top right hand corner and favorite it because it means that you're going to be able to find them very easily um, when you make use of the, the SharePoint tile within your app launcher. And you can come through here to all the, the sites that you favorite and are involved in. So as we go back to that document, I am going to, quite easily, go through and, and save this document up to my, my PLC, my private, uh, uh, professional learning community. And I'm going to drop it in lesson plan so that other teachers who are teaching biology can, can assist with me and maybe give me some fresh ideas or add to that document. So you can see I'm going through directly to the site and I'm also going to um, into a library and, and dropping that into a folder and we'll copy it. Now, a good thing about this is that um, it gives me a hint to say, yes, so I, I have copied it through, and I can click on that link, and I can see that it has landed in the right place, um, that it is in the, uh, the ten, year 10 biology 
um, private uh, professional learning community in the documents library and in my lesson plan folder. So now it's in a place where everyone who belongs to that PLC um, is able to, to have some input and have some discussions around that document um, and, and enrich more of that content. So this has been a really good, a really good uh, uh, update feature um, that we really have needed this for a while because um, it's been so much easier for us to, to um, collaborate and, and work on things within our OneDrives because we can just um, sync it, we can, um, you know, we've got other content in there as well. But now we can push this out to, to our PLC groups. Um, we could save it up to our Microsoft Classroom. If we're using team sites just for classrooms as well, we could push the documents up there. So I just want to just leave you with this, that the best place to be collaborating with, with um, multiple people, of course, is a team site, rather than just leaving that document in OneDrive and inviting people to that. So if you can, get, get your understanding around this tip, that it's quite simple to copy these documents up to those common places and really get that collaboration going. And if possible, if you, if you do have the foresight and think, you know what, this document is going to need to be somewhere where everyone can get to it, maybe you want to create it within the, the right place to start with, such as a team site or an Office 365 group. So thanks for tuning in. That's been a, a tip from uh, Daryl as a service, and um, we'll, we'll tune out now and just keep in touch. See ya.